Yo. Yo. We're back. I know we said we'd be consistent, and we will be consistent this time. <laughs> this time. Swear. It's not Clay's fault. It's mine. Been no, super it's our busy. fault. We're nah. both, we both been. Hold on. There was a dude. Uh, he been, he's been dogging us. The who? Entire, I don't know who it is. We'll find it in the comments. But, okay. Um, he said that, you know, we were struggling a little bit. We being At the time. Huh? At the time, yeah. Yeah, that's true. So um, he, he said we weren't going to beat the cats. Oh. Uh. So I just had to. Oh, you had to, something. you had to, do something real quick. hold on, I didn't know you wanted to flex today, we didn't hit the weight, so you get no. your workout right now, get that's my, what yeah, that yeah, is, what okay, is. okay, yeah. you know what I'm saying, I respect it, I wish I would have known, I would have wore my joint, you know, I with know. the Jones on the back, you feel me, yeah, that Christmas gift jump. joint, yeah, but um, we got a lot to talk about, we've been gone for like, Eight months feels like. Man, it's been a while. College is crazy. John ja Morant's going nuts. The yep. Lakers suck still, which that hadn't changed, so yeah. that's good. Um, yes, that we are still up. giving away a pair of cool grays. Comment your size down below. We got to get to 5K subs, though. So, Where we at? Uh, we're still sitting around 38, but we hadn't been. We'll get there. We we'll haven't get been there. posting. But, yeah, man, the, let's, talk about, let's talk about us, man. Let's okay. talk about us for a little bit. I'm here for it. We have been playing out of our minds right now. For sure. If you would have told me in the – no offense to everybody, but if you would have told me in the non-conference season that we would have beaten Auburn, that's tough. number one team in the country at our place, we can clap it up for that. At our place, yeah. Then we turn around and beat Kentucky. Yeah, come on, come on, come, come on, on come on, come on, come on, come on. Tennessee at home. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> and then after we lose to Vandy, we literally have lost one game to Alabama on you know a last second you know. Not something something that we could have eventually won. Um, I agree. But I agree. It's crazy, man. The Hogs, number fourteen ranked Hogs now. I'm nervous. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. But me too. We got LSU tomorrow, Wednesday night, uh, March second, and then we go to Tennessee. That one I'm really worried about. Same. Uh, they're a tough team. We're going to their place. We went there uh, when I worked there, and they were number one in the country, mm. and they beat the brakes off of us. It was a very awesome atmosphere. But you can't ever get the Bud Walton effect. That's true. Unless you're there. That's true. I highly recommend, if you want to come to an Arkansas game, look at the one, like, when the schedule is released, look at the ones that might be kind of cold. Hope that we're really good, which we should be. Yeah, we should be fine. And then get the tickets. Or find somebody that has some, that knows somebody that's got some, and come in, come watch a game, man. Because the Auburn, Auburn or Kentucky, which was the best atmosphere for you? Auburn. I agree. Yeah, I Auburn agree. was crazy. Uh, the difference – to me, is that Auburn, you couldn't – the game was so close the whole time, it was no time mm -hmm. to rest, no mm -hmm. time to take that break. It was loud all the time. Kentucky had spurts of, like, Auburn, like, type vibes, yes. but not the same, not the same. But it's still loud, but Auburn mm -hmm. was crazy. Auburn was wild. It was different. I, it was different. I think it's it's right up there around, like, three or four years ago when Cal when, got yep, tossed. When he got – yep. It was crazy. Then Laney and I were working for the team at the time. And I think it was, I pulled up with Dylan. It was nuts. Loud, bro loud yeah no seriously one of the loudest i think gyms that you can play in like you know i'm a little biased because you know i'm, I'm from here and mm -hmm. i love the hogs but nah it, it gets crazy in here for sure and everybody in there loves the hogs what? Like, we still it, on the court on the arvin joint i know it and Duke, okay. deuce pulled up what? He, yeah out we there with me and Quan. we out there with, <laughs> yeah man i remember tough. that i remember that somebody actually asked, actually passed out passed out it bro. was Got crazy hot. yep it was it was like a mosh pit down there, but that was a pretty cool thing. Uh, DJ Derek at the he played the uh, Crunk Ain't Dead song. Duke Deuce saw it, posted it on Twitter and Instagram, and then Drake of all people was like, "You need to pull up and pull up. play it." Yep. So he's actually coming to Arkansas at the end of this month or middle of this month. He was here this past weekend. He's going to perform the when actual he comes back. Okay. Yeah, and yeah. then he came, but he came here last week for the Kentucky game. Yep, and. We got Crunk, man. Crunk yeah. is not dead, and we went uh, went kind of crazy. Did nah, you just say tough. Crunk is not dead? Crunk ain't <laughs> dead. Crunk ain't dead. Crunk okay. ain't dead. Okay. But no, let, let's nice. talk about let's talk about some teams that have started to backslide. Obviously, in the SEC, which is kind of what we keep up with the most. But uh, the other day, one through six, I know everybody I went down. Yeah, and of course, we beat number six. But you know. Go Hawks. Slight flex. <laughs> you know what I mean? Slight flex. But uh, Gonzaga loses to St. Mary's. Saw who's that. now in the mix. You know, tournament team, obviously. Um, I don't know if I want to see St. Mary's in the tournament. To be Really? Mm -mm. They're kind of – I feel like they'd be kind of like that Loyola Chicago. The, oh, word. They're giving them vibes. Yeah. You know, especially beating Gonzaga. Um, of course, you know, we can talk about Chet and 
I ain't really worried about Chet, but we uh, got a seven three four Chet. Why you playing? <laughs> Not really, but <laughs> some like some like that. With OJ Will on him. With OJ Will on him, mm-hmm. which he's been playing his tail off. Congratulations to JD Note, also player of the week, ESPN player of the week. Should be SEC player of the year. If it's if he's not, it's rigged. For sure. And we're gonna have to we're gonna I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna I have to send either. some fake ballots or something. Yeah. We can just um, boycott something. Yeah, we can do we can do something. But um Alabama, a team that we were you and I especially were a little bit worried about when they were going on their non conference tear, beating Gonzaga, yeah. beating Houston, um backsliding. Yeah, a team that is really sort of they were they got hot early and they just kind of yeah they fizzled out. But when you live and die by the three, that's what it can. You yeah. can die a lot. That was that. Yeah, and it you comes live with a that. lot too. But um, what let's so let's you know it's March. It is. It's March, so it that is. means it's time for some madness. It is. And our bracket challenge, we will be bringing our bracket challenge back. You need to stay tuned for those details. But man, I feel like we just did that. That's crazy. I know it was a year ago. I know. In that I wild? know. Okay, keep going. I'm you sorry. ended up. You, you know, they had you in the first half. You know, but you came in second to Daniel. Uh, hey, I think this he year it was his name. I think I'm gonna do better this year. I'm kind of locked in this year. Really? Kind of. The only difference is the teams are so like wishy washy this year. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm locked in, but am I? Right, right. Like, are you gonna hoop <laughs> Alabama? Are you gonna hoop uh, Duke? Right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Because if so, then you know I kind of know. What you're capable of, but can you really pull that off? Mm-hmm. Arizona lost. Yep. And I had them. I, I Arizona is a pretty disciplined team. Really? I like Arizona. A I lot. like Arizona this year. Who's your dark horse to win the tournament? Us. Really? Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yep. I don't know, man. If they put, right now, the draw, I think, had us on the Duke side with Damn, Auburn. Damn, of it, course. It was like Auburn won. Of course, <laughs> that's going to change. Duke two. Uh, somebody else at three. Us at four. And then we would have played Memphis, and I, I have to look at it. I think that that may have been a couple, a couple of I don't want that side iteration, man, man, a couple of iterations ago. But yeah, man. So uh, the Razorbacks are your dark horse. I don't really have a dark horse. I just nah. no, not really. I I feel like I always miss like two or three games between the round of sixty four and the round of thirty two. That I'm just like, you know what, whatever. Whoever mm-hmm. wins, it's going to win it. But you know, once you get into that second weekend, you can kind of tell. Okay, this team. This team might be – they might be legit. Word. They might be all right. Word. So, yeah, I don't really I, – I know I don't want to see like a Murray State I don't or either. Loyola Chicago. I really don't even want to see a St. Mary's. Um, I don't really want to see a team with a very, very dominant big because no. that puts a lot of pressure on Jay Will. So, any and Big I, Ten team that slows it down. Yeah, I can't – yeah, yeah. It's just because – Backside help like those little details that you kind of supposed to kind of just know can be exploited during tournament time. Yep. Against that against the right team, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I agree. Teams that have like really dominant bigs, I'm like, eh, Jay Will can hold his own, but it's when he needs that break. Mm-hmm. When he, you know, when he goes to help and contest a shot, who boxing out that, right. that big. Right. It's those little details I feel like that could ch- kind of change the game during and tournament time. When he plays 38 minutes a night. I know. You know, it's tough. We've you know, he's he's our go to guy. He's our big for sure. Yep. But you got you then you got a, a slew of small guys, like smaller. I say small, they're like six eight, but Where? smaller guys. You got Kamani Johnson, uh Adis Tony, Stanley Amude that you can throw in there. Where? I just don't think they hold it down in the middle like Jay Will has. Jay Will has to be there so Stanley can shoot threes. Exactly. So Adis can crash the boards. So Adis can cut. Yep. Jalen's a very good passer, so I'm. I agree. And Kamani's just kind of like he's that. He's the. I. I don't. Energy for, guy. Yeah, Dennis Rodman. He, he's like, the dog. I mean, he yeah. is the dog. He doesn't yeah. care to come in and give you four no. or yeah. give exactly. you four fouls. Yeah. Fouls. Is he what does a lot of dirty work for <laughs> us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Y'all forgive us. Uh, the camera cord for Laney's camera shorted out on us, so she's hashtag free Laney. She's free back Laney. in jail. Hashtag free Laney. We got to do that again. Hashtag, hashtag free Laney again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but so. Speaking of Murray State, we can kind of transition into. Uh, away oh, we getting from right college. to it, huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we uh, we can transition away from college because we have our obviously we have our picks and stay tuned for our bracket challenge. But there's a Murray State, I guess you could say alumnus. I don't know if he graduated from there or not, but either way, he owns the school at this point. I was going to say it don't <laughs> yeah. matter. He actually owns Memphis now. Too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. He In own- San Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> what he he owns San Antonio now. He can't go back. No. He killed them. 
cute. Dude, man. I don't know if I, 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 and I DM'd you this too. I don't know if I've seen a year to year progression like this before. I, I, from John, Mor- like obviously, if you don't know who we're talking about, you live under a rock. But John Morant has been absolutely balling, man. And it's it's not like a fluke thing. It's like no. a, it's never a it, like. I I literally would look at the ESPN app and be like, okay, Jaws got thirteen in the third quarter. Like he's kind of cooling down a little bit. And then I go look at the at the end. It's like, oh, he finished with thirty four. Oh, okay, cool. He turned up. It's like, but then he ha- he'll have like twenty eight and 10, 28, yep. 10 and five. 26, 10, and 7. I know. 26, 12, and, you know, 4, whatever. No. Anything like that is crazy. Crazy. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if – who do you think – who can you compare him to that you've seen have a year – was it year one to year two, year two to year three? Just – I mean, honestly, just a year-to-year year jump like that. I kind of want to argue Giannis. Okay. Kind of, but – I don't know it was if it was the same or not. Mm-hmm. This to me seems a little more noticeable. Oh, dude, it's maybe insane. because of the highlight plays, but I'm with you though. In regards to like making a huge improvement, mm-hmm. yeah, like John Moran is is that deal? He was 51st in scoring last year. He's now seventh this year. That's wild. That's wild. That's a cr- and I and I did fact check that as ESPN stats. So hopefully yeah. that hopefully they're doing their job over yeah, there. You but fifty first to seventh is crazy. Big time, bro. On on a different front, I didn't understand it at first because he he's not shooting hella threes. No, you know what I'm saying. You get fifty now, it's like all right, you took eleven threes. Yeah, at, at least at least at least. You know what I mean? Nah, he taking five. That's six. crazy to me. All work though, all <laughs> plays like and one bucket, yes. three the old fashioned way. Like he's doing, now nah, he's just he he's he's tough. He's looking and spectacular though. too. And Duncan, Duncan, bro. Uh, Woo! Now nah, San Antonio, bro, he really got them out of there though. It was like John Morant versus the Spurs. <laughs> like I I haven't seen that type of like like dominance from like a point in a minute. I would love to have seen Greg Popovich's like. Halftime and post game interview. Word, he probably like, dang, who is this? Guy? Well, you know, <laughs> Pop, crazy. He, you know, Pop, he doesn't say anything. Word, Coach, you how'd you slow down John Morant? We couldn't. Yeah, it's like, all right, yeah. no real talk. We we saw that too. We have y'all ever seen the meme of Popovich on the bench with his arms crossed and his legs kicked and his ankles are crossed and he's just like chilling on the bench? That's no. what I imagine he was like the entire game because like, what do you say? Like, there's nothing you can say. So, anyways, nothing. I'll send really Clay the meme and we'll no. pop it up on the screen. So, dude, it's like I said, it's unreal. I mean, the Grizzlies are they're not sitting in like play in contention. They're like, if it ended today, they'd be in, right? Yeah, they third seed, right? That's crazy. Is it? Are they not? Is it not? From beating last year's Phoenix? from beating last year's MVP and Steph Curry, which he didn't get it, but you know, you know, it is what it is. You know, but let me look to to now like solidified. You're not having to play in the play in tournament. Like this is what we thought the Lakers were going to be for we, sure. We thought the Lakers yep. would turn around and say, "All right, we're going to go hoop. We're going to finish third. We're mm-hmm. going to be in." Play a team that you know we don't necessarily have to. Yeah. D- try to like hoop every like basically sweep. Yep. Um, it is confirmed they are the three right now. That's crazy. Phoenix, Warriors, Grizzlies, Memphis, bro. That's, That's down crazy. the street. What are we doing? It is. It's right down the street in the forum. We need to go and get out there. Hey, just just a little All quick right. drive. Hey, they're they're two yeah. ahead of of Clay's boys. So Dallas. Yep. Okay. Mm, that's good. They came up. They did. They've been they've been playing well. They've been they cut Luka Porzingis and they're playing well. Yeah, and Luca came back with a vengeance. He did. He came back a few pounds heavier too. That's all right though. That's, I've right. Never that's a big the, guard. I've though. never seen a dude that's gained weight and can still hoop like that. He tough. He's crazy. He we tough. worked on some Luca moves today. Actually. Yeah, we did. We did. You know what I'm saying, dude? No. It, but yeah, back to the back to John Moran and the Grizzlies. Whoever your trainer is, he keep he, him he, around. He, she they need a bag for sure. Like. Some, no, I don't know, but maybe he's taking advantage of resources. This is something that we always see young guys true. struggle with. You know, they get a little bit of money. They don't want to get in the gym, whatever. He is locked in. He's locked in. Yeah. For real. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like his mentality. I like everything that he's, like, just bringing. Mm-hmm. Because it Memphis fits him so perfectly to me. He's a dog. You feel me? A lot of our a lot of the guys that we won the 1994 championship with were from Memphis. Memphis got some dogs over there, bro. They got some dogs for sure. They so. do. It makes sense, man. Like everything about him, 
like fits mm-hmm. everything that he's doing for is, Memphis. Is he is he a front runner for you for MVP? Front runner? How many? Ooh. Give me your top three, I guess you could say. For your ah, MVP. That hurt. Um top three? Huh. Man, you crazy. Uh let me see. I put you on the spot. You I did. did. You did. But you'll probably put me on I mean, the spot. Let me let me okay. do five. Let me do five, not narrow it down. Go five. Let me get the Rosen. I need DeMar. If I, I shoot it, it goes in. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I need him. Yeah. Pause. That's crazy. <laughs> let me get um let me get let me get Embiid though. Let me get Embiid. They're gonna be in the comments if you don't mention Joel Embiid. You know what I mean? And I gotta put some respect on Embiid though, because he's been very dominant. Barry. Mm-hmm. Now he got hard, and we'll get into that. Right. Yeah, we'll That's get there. So, Dito. They're also going to flame you in the comments if you don't mention Nicola. So. I'm not mentioning him. Let yeah. me get, <laughs> let me get, let me get Ja. Absolutely. Let me get Ja. Let me get Steph. Let me get Giannis. I love that five. That's me. That's me, though. That's me. I know y'all mad at me sometimes. I can't, I, I feel the Jokic. It's, it's a slow 50 ball. I respect it. No cap. But I'm just thinking, like, in regards to, mm, that's not fair to date, fair to say because he's pretty productive. That's just me. Top mm-hmm. three though, I'm liking Giannis right now. I'm liking Giannis and B. I'm liking DeRozan. Okay, that's me though. So Demar has been playing out of his mind. Man, he was hitting crazy buzz, buzzer beaters and wasn't nobody saying nothing though. <laughs> nothing. It was like back to, it was like back to back buzzer yeah, beaters. Bro. I remember that one was one off one foot, yes. right? Then the, he had a game like either the day or the day after. He hit another one. Yeah, it was back to back games. Yeah, back to back, like thirty back ball. Back to back. What? He listened to Drake. He had to. <laughs> playing that. Yeah. Man, what about man. you? Who you got? Uh dude, I honestly haven't been watching a lot of the NBA. Um, to be honest, but I know Steph's been playing well. Um, obviously he's Steph Curry. By well, the way, a little slump, the video, but... the video. Well, yeah, I guess that's true. The video of him pregame. Did you see that? Where no, he I like didn't. shot the underhand like. And it went like ten feet in the air, and it went in, and then he stepped back, and then he stepped back, and he stepped back, and he stepped back, oh, and he stepped no, back, I, and he stepped back, and he stepped back, and then he went back in, back in, back in, back in, back in, back in, no misses. That's tough. Dang near from half court, it's crazy. See, yeah, and then it, he and then he ran off the court, ran to the locker room, like yeah. no biggie. Man, I here wish we I go. Could do that just what? once. See, that's MVP. You won the MVP already <laughs> just based off that <laughs> yeah, that yeah. clip. That yeah. was, that alone was better than the dunk contest. That's what I'm saying. I would bro. Re- I would have paid money to watch Steph do that than. Cole Anthony Duncan Tims. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Let me get my bounce up. I'll dunk in Tims and we'll put it on the channel. That would be nice. Because I'm not dunking in Tims. <laughs> I have Tims meant for snow and stuff. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I ain't yeah. Trying Which to we've gotten in. a lot of lately. It were. That's true. We have gotten a lot of snow lately. But okay, so I would put Steph in there out of respect. Giannis, obviously, the Bucks are playing well. Yep. Um Joel Embiid for sure, too. We ha- we do have to put respect on his name. Um, I agree. I mean, Ja, like for what he's doing for the team, I think Ja obviously is more valuable to to the Grizzlies than well. I can't say that because I, everybody know. else is valuable too. It's they, tough. It is the most valuable player, right? You know? um, yeah, I, I would say the way the Bucks have been playing, Giannis probably would be the front. I mean, that's such a cop out answer, just because it, it's not though. A lot of people were sleeping on Giannis in the MVP discussion until recently. Yeah, so that's not just because he was super raw and athletic, and it's like. A guy like that that airballs free throws and threes, nobody really thinks should be the MVP when everybody in the league is airballed a three and a free throw every once. I mean, for sure. But know. the crazier part, the crazy part about that though is like he's starting to knock down the three ball. Yeah, I, I have noticed that progression. He's mm-hmm. he's becoming way more consistent, which mm-hmm. is kind of scary. I know, I know, I know. Six bro. ten. He bringing it down. He he hit somebody with the front back joint. Oh, he did. What? And do a pull up midi. Oh wow! Big front back. <laughs> Pull. Hey, yeah. Yep. Well, just like that, that joint. That joint, bro. Yes. So I was like, yeah, you got to consider Giannis, but mm-hmm. nah, that's yeah, okay. That's just what I'm thinking though. Um, but kind of switching. I want ahead. your thoughts. Embiid and Harden, though. Let me hear. Let me hear that. I so what James Harden, what they wanted James Harden to be in Brooklyn. I think you know that point guard, a guy that he can play point guard you know what we saw in houston was a very ball dominant guard and player and i think everybody was like man harden's like if you don't give him the ball he's not he's not valuable word that's kind of true okay but i think a guy like that you you want to give him the ball Mm -hmm. and the fact that he has a big that can pick and pop pick and roll in Embiid, i think is kind of a scary sight right in time for playoff time so what's the difference between that and what they were trying to get him to do in brooklyn 
Did they just need a more dominant big? Was I think you KD? have too many. I think you have not, too many cooks in the kitchen. That's what it is, huh? Mm-hmm. You got KD, which is fine, but KD's not. KD, KD doesn't. KD's not the one setting those screens and rolling to the rim hard. You know what I mean? True. And B takes up that space where it's like, all right, this guy can come dunk on you. He can kind of knock down the three, but the way that the way it affects the offense. If I play Joel, I'm gonna let him make a couple of threes first before I really fully close out on the pick and pop. Mm-hmm. So to have a guy like if KD and Harden screen to screen is a switch. Yeah, yeah. If Harden and Embiid screen, we don't want that switch. We don't. I don't want that switch. Word. Because I got a little on a very big guy. Yeah. Like, and that's not that doesn't do well for me. So I think Embiid's ability to kind of stretch the floor and knock the three down consistently helps Harden in a way because the defense has to kind of honor both. It makes sense because he had like 16 assists the other night. Right. Whereas like, and you know, when you have a big that can pick and pop or when you have a big that picks and pick and roll, if he's open on the roll, one of the corner guys has to crash depending upon where the help side is. So I can, I can kick. That's what he wants. Or I can back cut. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It's not as stagnant. I love the, I love kind of that dynamic that can be Harden and Embiid based on just from an offensive standpoint. Now, if Harden's doing kind of what he was doing in Houston and shooting the ball fifty times, you know, then we may have an issue. But no, like, I mean. just get just just let Joel shoot a little bit. You know what I mean? Right. It'll be interesting to see. Right now, seventy sixers have been to the playoffs. I don't know how many times, and we've written them off every time. Yeah, been like, yeah, they made it the second round. Okay, That's true. Cool. That they is made it true. The conference finals. All right, they where are they now? The finals. I don't know, Laney. Do you know where they are? Fourth, in the East? fifth. Let me pull it up. Give me one. I'm second. not exactly sure, but I I, I think they no, have. I might be hoeing them. They might be. They might be. Nah, I feel like fourth? Milwaukee is third. They might be fourth. Who's first in the East? Ooh. I think Miami. What do, what do y'all think? What do y'all think? Let me let me let me go second. Let me go Miami, Philly, Milwaukee. That's all I know right now. I, don't know. I have no idea. Um, well, you're sleeping on the team, Jeremy, that you almost transferred to. Um, it's the Heat, Bulls, then Sixers. Wow. So. Bulls. That's true. That's what? Crazy. What? Duh. DeMar. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. Who, so what? I'm sorry, Laney. You're good. You're good. The Heat, Bulls, and then Sixers. Yep. Heat, Bulls, oh. Sixers, then Bucks. Then, oh, they hawked them. Yep. Okay. But, but then what's kind of crazy is the Cavs. I know. Yeah, they're asleep. They're kind of sneaky. Yeah, they right are. Now, they're a dangerous team. They really are. Mm-hmm. Young, too. Yeah, that's what's crazy. If you, get a, if you can get a young squad to stay around, and obviously it's way different than college. We're talking about millions of dollars. Yeah. Owners are not going to pay somebody that they don't feel has value millions of dollars. Well, they paid. They paid Ben Simmons a lot. So, yeah. oh, he gonna turn up though. He will. He. I, I'm excited um, to see kind of what what comes of that. Yeah. I don't know. We'll we'll see. They're. I don't know if they're paying Zion, but mm. they they don't need. Anyway, <laughs> that's my that was my point was. Owners should not have to pay guys. You know, they're they're not. They're, I say should not. They're not going to pay guys millions of dollars that they don't feel have value to the team. Well, uh, which. Doesn't really make sense why the Lakers signed DJ Augustine and Okay. Well talk to uh, me. How you feel about these Lakers? Because it look like you 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 feeling some type man, of Man, I, huh? I would have been in the stand boo. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't making no moves like that. No. I, ESPN ESPN hyped it up with the little side eyes and was like They had to get DeAndre out of there. All the problems good now, right? No. They they not. they play my they playing my Mavs right. right now. They're playing the Mavs right now. Let's let's check. I'm in. looking. Right. I, it's crazy. Do I, a live look. I know that the Lakers are bad, but I didn't realize that they're 27 and 33. Yeah, they not they under 500 for sure. It's I didn't bad. realize that. Yeah. It's bad, bro. I don't even. Are they in the playoff picture still? They're they ninth. The they're ninth right now. So they now. would be in the playing tournament. They on a bubble. They on a bubble pretty much. If that's you know? NCAA tournament. They're like their first four out or whatever. What is that? I never, I never get that. I think that's memorized. what it is. It's something like that, dude. Well, that's crazy. I how how much of this is Russ's fault, dude? I don't even know at this point. Like they're consistently losing. It does like word. I mean, we played the clip of the come on, come on, Russ. Yeah, <laughs> that yep. was funny. That dude, that shout out to that guy. But like, it's it's to the point where. You look out there and you see LAL on like the ESPN app, and it's like, whatever. Who cares? You know what Dang, I mean? that's, they just, that's tough. They don't have the juice anymore. Dang, they lost the juice. You can't lose the juice. They don't have the juice, man. They they, they, they really lost don't. The juice. Like, I don't. 
I don't know if it's an ownership problem or if it's a player problem. See, that's what I'm saying. I because don't know. It, it, at at one point it was like, okay, well we're gonna give Frank Vogel, you know, ten games, or you're on a day, you're on a game to game basis. Yeah, he's still there. Work. You're twenty. You're worse than you were when you were putting him on a game to game basis. Obviously, you don't think it's the coaching. Damn. You so everybody I mean? blaming Russ. I don't know. I I'm not blaming. I'm I mean, not either. I did. I did like five weeks ago blame Russ, but b- b- I mean. Man was hitting the side of the backboard. That's all right, though. That's all right. We got to rock out sometimes. I think it's, man, I really do think it's chemistry, bro. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's one player. I think it's multiple players all trying to find their place in in their roles, man. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like a lot of those players, including Russ, feel the the need to kind of overcompensate now because so much pressure is on, like, this team, bro. That's the difference. I remember thinking – when uh, PG and Kawhi teamed up that first year, yeah, so much pressure, bro. Oh well, yeah. Oh yeah, man, this is the best defensive luck. Not if y'all gonna keep talking about it, because mm-hmm. then at that point you can't really just rock out. You can't really be yourself. You, right. It comes with very high expectations. Mm-hmm. I feel like they were battling that to the point to where they tried to prove so much. Now it's like here we are. Yeah, that's my thoughts though. That might be a whole bunch of nothing, but like you said, it's a lot of players that I feel like could make a lot of noise. But the chemistry is just not there. Austin Reeves, he comes in, he does what he does yep. day in, day out. Yep. Malik Monk, day in, day out. Yep. I'm gonna be real with Russ, you don't know which Russ you're gonna get. Right. Is he gonna try to facilitate at this point? Is he gonna try to, you know, be dominant, get the triple dub? Right. Team issue. A D, we finally got you in the lineup. Now you go back out. Team issue. Mm-hmm. So it's like now. Cut A D at this point. Ooh, you gotta cut him. Bro, he's he plays four games and then is he like Steps on the shoelace and oh my ankle hurts. Oh. And he's out. And then his knee like yeah. he's so. I mean, no, you don't have to cut him. I said, I said, uh, cut Kyrie. That so that was kind of wild. That was too. wild. Yeah. Cut but Kyrie is wild. Cut Kyrie. I also, That's I also, wild. I also said send Wiggins overseas. Hey. So and I think then I'm, when, I think he I'm went off and was an all star. So <laughs> he shouldn't have been a starter. Starter, but I agree with um, that. But it, the, it's funny because you really don't be like for like you ain't waiting on him. Like <laughs> get him out of there. I'm so hey, impatient, huh? <laughs> AD, you got to go, bro. You keep getting hurt. See ya. Yeah, but Who like, you going to get, though? I have no idea. Huh. But, be a but bad move. I, I can guarantee you, like, either, fi- okay, don't cut AD. Fire the doctor. Something's wrong with this guy. Yeah. What? I mean, yeah. I mean keep wearing Kobe's. But he's a Kobe athlete, isn't he? Yeah, but he shouldn't be. Where are the LeBrons? You 16. You need something a little... I- I well, could go on all day. And if you have ankle problems. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I don't think it's necessarily always been the ankle. It's been the knee and then the back and then his hand or his shoulder. It's like, bro, if you're just going to be like a little, I, I mean, I don't, if you're going to be Charmin Ultra Soft, then go be on the Charmin commercial. Like, he could do that. D- I feel don't, like he trying the whole swag thing. He just need to get back to hooping. Yeah. Be the AD that won the national you know championship. I mean? Block shots, get rebounds, shoot your threes if you want to. Face up, understand, pick your spots, and then then we'll be fine. Word. But let me ask you this: You talk about from a team chemistry standpoint. Yeah, we've heard rumors, obviously, all the time about playing with LeBron, one of the hardest dudes to play with. Yep. Either because of he knows so much about the game that he makes people feel stupid, or he's, you know. Does what he wants when he wants, and nobody else can get that kind of treatment because he's Braun. Yeah. Like, do you think it it's harder for everybody else around in that locker room to play with LeBron or to play with Russ? Ooh. Probably, probably Russ though. Really, I mean, just because. Given, I mean, we could do a whole Shacked in a Fool. We could play a Shacked in a Fool episode for Russ yeah. right now. I'm just thinking about it in regards to, okay, my mindset. It's one thing to tell me something when you really about it, and it's another thing to tell me something when I'm like, eh, you talking to me, but what you going to do? Right. With LeBron, it's like, okay, I need you here, here, and here. I'm directing on the court. Right. You got 30. I need to listen. Right. With Russ, it's like, I need you here, here, here. You got seven turnovers. I'm going to do what I want, though. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> like, you already tried. Like, yeah. <laughs> Let, let me let go. Me, let, let me try. Let me try what I think now. You feel me? So in that case, I could see. That's a great point. I could see why it would be kind of a slight dilemma. And even down the stretch, maybe that's why they're not playing Russ because, you know, for a minute that was a that was the talk too. Mm, free Russ. Um, but 
that's not to say I have heard those same like situations where you know they talked about LeBron being very mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like I don't know different on the court I guess you can say yeah he's demanding I would feel you know what I mean but at the same time it's like he he is the coach on the floor mm -hmm. so it's like I I, I could kind of see that I can kind of see that um right now I think it would be Russ prime prime for prime I don't know though because you yeah. know I like going back to when Russ was averaging the triple dub and just being himself I feel like he was also hard to play with but he's also somebody you can listen to based off productivity right so that's, yeah, that's on I'm, me. I'm kind of the think. same way with you. Like even from a very small standpoint, if if there's somebody on the pickup court that tells me like, "Yo, yeah, hey, just do this real quick," and I ain't really play with them, all what? right, cool. But if I throw it to you in the corner and you throw it off the backboard, it's, I'm I'm not listening to you ever again. You gonna listen to me? You feel me? It's like, like you ah. come set this screen, <laughs> and I'm gonna throw it to you if I want to type deal. Word. And I like I definitely understand that. I think that that's where you talk about chemistry because mm -hmm. if you take if you take, if you put Russ in, Russ is going to try to be that. You, you take Brian out, put Russ in. Russ is going to try to be that floor general. Word. People ain't going to listen to a guy with seven turnovers. You now me? that's not Russ's. I mean, it is his fault. Like, don't turn the ball over. But at the same time, we're talking about a guy that's that's made getting a triple double look like fairly a walk easy in the park. Yeah. So, like, there's got to be some sort of disconnect respect wise maybe it's the media bro and maybe i i don't know if it's i don't know if it's the type of thing where it's like oh he's checking in man why did coach put him in or if it's like bro what are you doing you know what i mean mm -hmm. like there's certain there's certain times where it's easy to get frustrated as a player and check out until you kind of get your rhythm or go get yours or whatever but the lakers have no rhythm that's what i mean though that's chemistry at this point i mean it's like a bunch of white people at a wedding yeah. like they have no <laughs> rhythm whatsoever <laughs> like you gotta play the you gotta play the YMCA to get everybody. Who was on at the, the hogs? Who was doing that? Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I don't think it's. I think because even like THT for example, what mm -hmm. he on? What he doing? I thought THT was gonna come out here. We thought he was. Yeah, a guy that has. Are you the upside. bomb or not? Like what? Like <laughs> <laughs> like what are we like? What's up? Right. You feel me? So mm -hmm. that's like another. That's some more bread that they spent. Right. Yeah. You can get you two or three more leagues. Yep. You got rid of Caruso. Caruso, kind of tough. Yeah. You got rid of my twin. That kind of hurt. You got Reeves, though. Now, don't you know? Reeves yeah, we can't. The, yeah, that's Arkansas boy. You too. feel me? Shout and he's Reeves. actually playing well or, or or doing what he's supposed to do. You feel let me? me? Don't say he's, let, me not, let me not say he's playing, you know, amazing. But, I mean, to his standard, it is. Yeah, I agree. You need more of that, especially down the stretch, bro. You just need more of that, man. And I think that's what they're lacking. Because mm -hmm. outside of that, who else you – who else you gonna call? We don't see Dwight Howard as much. Nope. What he do? What he on? No. You feel me? Like you can? Who you naming from the team? Where you like? Oh yeah, they killing their role. Outside of Reeves, outside of LeBron, AD hurt. Russell Westbrook's up and down. Tht yeah. he ain't the bomb. Yeah, Malik's been okay. Malik uh, has been there. I, yeah. Yep, Malik's, Malik's been there. Malik's been there. I mm -hmm. think that's three uh, people. Yeah, and that's a medium three. That ain't no big three. <laughs> And that's a mid three. <laughs> Shout out to my Arkansas boys, but yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a lot of pressure to to put a, to put on those shoulders uh, of of two. I guess you could say relatively young guys. Obviously, that's the Reed, dilemma. Austin is is very young. Malik's been there a little bit more, but the spotlight in LA is just super bright. You know, for and especially for a guy that's getting back into the league and trying to. You mm -hmm. know, there's probably a lot of stuff he's dealing with. You know, off the floor, but. Yeah, man, the spotlight in Los Angeles, I mean, it's a dumpster fire over there. Like, Jeannie yeah, Buss tough. walked out the other night. Did you see that? I didn't see that. That's she tough. She left the game early. You own the team. That's tough. What are you doing? Got on down. She pulled that Kentucky. She told. <laughs> hey, go. Get out of here. That's Get so, out of here, bro. Which is crazy. So, I, I don't know if, and it could be an ownership standpoint. I'm sure y'all got all the answers, so please let us know. Yeah, yeah, let us know. I could be completely off to just what I'm thinking. Um but, yeah, I, I don't think it's one player in, in particular. I think it's a chemistry issue. No, that's yeah, all. and I I think I, I could I could see definitely where that's at. I, I could see where it could be a chemistry thing, like, within the entire organization. Yeah. You know what I mean? Why is she not firing this dude? Why is he? Why is this guy still playing for us? Why? Mm. Like, where is John Wall? Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> where is John, John Wall? You coming here or not? Yeah, are you, are you going to Dougie or not, yeah. dude? Like, what are you doing? 
Yeah, no, I'm with that. I'm I with agree. That. It's a chemistry thing. Uh, I would think it's a chemistry thing at some level, whether mm-hmm. it be from ownership down, from head coaching staff down, or just from players in the locker room down. Like, within – there's something wrong. How can you not win games when you have LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, and Anthony Davis on the same team? I know. I know. It doesn't make sense. I know. Yeah. And especially LeBron, when he was back to, like, 2012 LeBron, and he was averaging 35 in 12 games or was whatever. It going crazy. It was insane. Yeah. Like, and, and you're still getting blown out. Like, you're not losing by 5, 7, 9. You're losing by 15. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, some of them were close, but, like, I feel you. To, to make hindsight 2020, it's like, what's, what's up? What's yeah, up, but, man? And an L is an L, though. Like, even it if is. it's a two-point, even it if is. it's a 15-point, 20-point, it don't matter. An L is an L. And True. obviously, they have a losing record. And so, yeah. yeah they got to turn up, man. Yeah, I am i don't get it. I'm, I'm checking in. They're currently up two on the Mavs, which is um, a very long game. But Back to college just for a minute. Um, TCU just upset Kansas. Ooh. Men's. I'm not I'm, – that's okay. I'm not sold yeah. on Kansas. But they not might either. be a team that we need to have on some sort of bracket watch to make a little bit of noise because TCU? they just beat they just beat Texas Tech, 12th-ranked men's mm. Texas Tech the other night, Damn, and then high? came mm. came and beat Kansas tonight. So that's something to think about. Just mm. TCU might be somebody we need to – See, I'm asleep. They're 19-9. and nine. Mm. Beat them by 10. Texas Tech, that is? No. TCU. T- no, I'm saying beat TCU Kansas beat, by beat Kansas tonight. by 10. I'm not sold on Kansas. Yeah, they're, I'm not they're sold kind on of Kansas. a fake – They're kind of a fake uh, – Six seed, I think. I'm not really sold on them. Okay. But they lose to Baylor at Baylor by 10. Who? TCU. Iowa State by three. Beat Texas Tech by 12. Yep. Something like that. Hmm. And then be, they, they swept them. Yeah. Beat Texas Tech at Tech and then beat them at home Ooh. by three. Maybe Texas Tech ain't like that. Yeah. And then they lose to Texas at Texas by nine. Yeah. So – I, you might be on something, Laney. They may be a little. They may be. A they little, might like, make a little noise. I mean, they might, might win one or two games. They're team. not supposed to. I can respect it. You know, I can respect I, it. I love that. That's good. But sorry, didn't mean to throw us back. No, 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 no. That's no. That's good. a good call. You're that's good. a good call. That's totally good. So let's talk about. I I have to admit, I'm sorry that I said uh, Andrew Wiggins my last take last year, and then now, now he's an All Star. You know, he shouldn't have been a starter, but. Respect. I give I give you I give you your props. He's been off Call of Duty, which is good. That's what's up. Maybe. Um, yeah, yeah. You got tired of Warzone. Are there any other surprises that you've seen in the last few weeks? Because there's been a lot of stuff we could talk about, from the Mavs cutting Porzingis to true um, the All Star break. I, I see what you're wearing. You did uh, go to All Star All Star uh, weekend in Cleveland. How was that? Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, very busy, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. You, you had snow there too, and it was man. Awful. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was very cold. It was super cold in Cleveland, bro. That's the only thing. It was just like yeah. OD cold. Oh, yeah. But, like, other than that, you know, everything that we kind of, mm-hmm. like, went through was, like, super elite. Like, that Puma setup was crazy. Dude. I saw that. That was pretty cool. The, the Reebok joint was yep. was decent. And then, you know, we did the Stoke Bleach Report, which was yeah, also was fun. Dope. Yeah, that was awesome. If you guys missed that, uh, the roundtable discussion with uh, Jay Jones, Unbreakable Kicks, Sniper Jones, yep. and Josh Christopher, right? Yep. Which seemed like a pretty cool experience. No, it was dope. It was dope. dope. When I could talk, I you know I said my piece. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was it was it was nice. It was nice. And okay. Josh is super cool too. Super super cool. Yeah. That's it's awesome. always good seeing young people get money, man. And he's one of them. Yeah, he probably has a lot of money. He's getting bread for sure. He we took a PJ. It. He what? took a PJ. What? Oh, good. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. It was like, how was the flight getting in? You know, we were struggling. Total luggage. Oh yeah, it was no problem. I took a PJ here. Getting money, man. Shout out to Josh Christopher. Yeah, shout out to Josh Christopher, man. <laughs> shout out to I ain't got I ain't got nothing for you on that. Let me hold some bread. I ain't got nothing for you. I got so many goals. A PJ is not one. Yeah, man, That's I'm about crazy. to drive to Vegas. What? I can't even fly to Vegas. Man, what? It's crazy. No, I had to do it for work. So, but driving places. Yeah. So, any other things that have that have stood out to you? Uh, I had some points, but I didn't write them down, so I lost them. Okay. Mid show. There you go. Yeah. Good. Yeah. No. Yeah. Happens, right. it happens every once in a while. For sure. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's talk about Ambam till we till we Why can figure not? it out. Congratulations to Amber Ramirez, All SEC second team uh, nominee, and she's yeah, she's great, man. A walking bucket. Uh, I'm glad with the season that they're having. They've lost. They've kind of backslid a little bit, but they 
Laney, you said they will make the tournament, right? Yeah, uh, apparently. Right now, they're projected to still make the tournament um, as not like a super low seed, but you know, like probably nine or ten. Ain't um, bad. That's not, not actually not a bad, dangerous not number. Not bad at all. Ten but, is a but yeah, it really is. The NCAA overall really loves Arkansas women's basketball because of Coach Neighbors and his experience in the tournament. How much noise he normally makes with his different teams, um, and quite frankly. They really love Amber. They love watching her play too. Me too. And so that, we love that Amber helps too, for, for sure, sure too. So, but yeah, too. so right now they're still projected to be making it into the NCAA tournament. Um, they have a little bit of a tougher road in the SEC tournament, but they could still make some noise there too. So we'll see. I'm with that. Yeah, I agree. Shout out to Ambam. Shout out to Ambam. Second team. She got to get with it. I'm going to try to get in the gym. It might not happen, but regardless, she'll hold it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she should be fine. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see kind of what the future holds for her. I hope she goes and plays overseas. She can make a lot of money overseas. For sure. Don't coach immediately. She would yeah. be a great overseas player because oh yeah, overseas teams usually, for, especially for women, usually put all their eggs in, in one basket, so to speak, and they have one player that they just – Absolutely adore I mean, and obsess Amber over, what? and Amber would be Amber would be a perfect overseas player. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. We gotta we gonna lock in with mm -hmm. it again one more time. Yeah, we but yeah. Get back in the gym. Um, other than that, I mean, I don't have anything crazy. We we briefly discussed All Star Weekend. I for sure wanted to talk about John Morant, which we did. Mm -hmm. Wanted to go over a couple college teams. We did. We've done that. Um, yep. Yeah, bro. I mean, I feel like we're we're pretty caught up. Anything I'm missing? I mean, not really. Jokic did go crazy. Let me put some. I need to put some respect on Jokic though, because I know I get a lot of, I get a lot of flack about Jokic, mm -hmm. when I love Dirk the way that I do, and a lot of people be comparing them to. So it's like, I like Jokic. Don't get me. Don't get it twisted. Like I know he's very dominant. He's just other players that I like a little more. Like I'm a huge Paul George fan. Clearly, I don't think Paul George is better than Kevin Durant. Right. You feel me? You know, it's just preference. You know, it's just preference for me. So, mm -hmm. if I got to choose my big, I want Embiid. I agree. That's me. I agree. You know what I mean? If I got to choose my guard right now, I need Morant. Yeah. <laughs> I need Morant. You need Ja. <laughs> he ain't doing it all. He you know is. what I mean? So, yeah. that's just, it's just preference. So. Yeah, I we'll have to see. I, I love that March is here because it's about to be crazy. Yeah. Girls' uh, conference tournament starts this week later, probably, th what, Wednesday, Thursday? Uh, it starts Wednesday. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. First games start Wednesday. Thursday is when our girls play um, championship on Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the boys turn around and they'll play next week. And then we're in Selection Sunday, and it's rolling. We're in the bracket challenge. Ooh, so we need to have our bracket submitted by when? What, the 16th or something like that? 12th? Yeah, it'll come out on Selection Sunday. And we'll get that going. We'll probably have a pod by then or on that oh, yeah. day. We may do a live pick em. Yeah, let's do yeah. Let's do we some do a live. live. We could do a live pick 'em. Let's get into that joint where we, we go one regular, one live, two times a week, two shows a week. Okay. Yeah. Get into that. And like like we said, fellas and ladies that watch us, we've been super busy. It's not because we've been ducking y'all. Uh I did put out a community post earlier just to kind of see where y'all were at. Thank you for those two. Oh, well, somebody want to talk about Caitlin Clark. We can talk about that a little bit if we oh, want yeah, to. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, let's do that. Um, but thank you guys for, you know, interacting with that. Uh, yeah. So, Caitlin Clark, a young lady who can shoot it she just about that. like Steph Curry. Yep, yep. That's what they're saying. I saw the highlights on Bleacher Report, House of Highlights, ESPN, Sports Center, Barstool. I was... I was just like, why is she shooting from that far? And <laughs> because she can make it. <laughs> so we need to do, a, we need to do a, a segment with her. If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, yeah. Y'all might take that the wrong way, but you know what I mean. Yeah. We yeah, got yeah. some things in the work. I cannot wait. So I cannot wait. This season, this season, Caitlin Clark averaging 27.5 points. Dang. 7.9 rebounds. Dang. How tall is she? Uh, she is six foot tall. It's not bad. Um, she's averaging 8.3 assists, oh, no. and wild. she is 46% from the field overall. Nah, that's OD. She's she also, she also, and seven? she also or is six? only six or like that. a sophomore. Mm. Mm. She better than Paige? Yes. Wake up, Ooh. wake up. <laughs> she tough. What? Okay. I don't know if she's better than Paige. She's better than Paige. Yeah. Paige has not played this entire that's season. That's a very hot take. She got hurt. Paige got hurt, though. But she's better than Paige right now, yes. How tall is Paige? She like, what, 6'3"? Mm -mm. mm, Paige is little. little. She's a little smaller like than that? 5'10", 5'9". Oh, really? I, I, I can look it up. She might be yes, taller, though. I can look it up, but yes, 27.5, 7.9, 8.3. 
Okay, okay. Now you got to respect them numbers. Yeah. You got to pick her up at half court. She what? get off the bus. You need to have somebody Ready there guarding her. That's what's up. She came out of nowhere to me, though. I'm going to be did. real. I, I, I mean, I watch girls like college basketball. I stay familiar with sort of the SEC just because, you know, that's kind of what we – That's our. I mean, it's just like men's. I mean, I'll watch like Houston for, a, you know, guy like Reggie and – yeah. Uh, Oklahoma State for Oklahoma Avery. Oklahoma State for Avery. Oh, that's my guy. And then, which he had 30 the other night. What? Off a of snap. You see that? Yeah. You see that, Joy? Uh, Paige nice. Beckers is 5'10". 5'10". So she's Respect. about the same height. Yeah. But yeah, like, I pretty much stay in. I don't really watch a lot of NBA, which is why y'all flame me in the comments. That's okay. It Thank is okay. Thank you for interacting with the video and actually commenting. That's fine with me. Say that. Say that. But leave a like, too, and subscribe if you want yep. some cool grays. Yep. Um, but I say all that to say, like, I really just kind of stay in tune with people that we've trained and then the SEC. Yeah. Just because I think that, uh, you know, aside from the ACC, that's where the best basketball is played. Big Ten's boring. Yep. Uh, it's grinded out. And they score, you know, 50, 60 points a game. Of course, Michigan State, that was a cool game. That was a good game the other oh night. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Speaking of Michigan, yeah, dude, you know. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I totally about forgot about. Ugh. Man. Look, not really a lean, but, you nah, know. No, he, he kind of like. You he know, slapped him. He, little Nate Diaz, you know. Yep. Nate Diaz does the slap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Which was, eh, don't, unexpected. Don't fight. <laughs> you Why? know, it's a bit unexpected. Why are you fighting? You got beat. He called a timeout. I get it. It's unsportsmanlike. You ain't got to try to lean an assistant coach for man, no reason. Try to get him out of there. Try to lean him. I get it. I know the coach was like, hey, man, stop and shake my hand. That's annoying. That's the little man syndrome. You beat Jawan Howard, cool. Beat Michigan, awesome. Don't – think about the example you sent for these kids, man. They was leaning people too. <laughs> that. <laughs> and he had the kids on it too. He had the college students right behind him. Tack, tack. I man. agree. I mean, I it don't really tough, know. It's, it's a slippery slope when you talk about suspensions and stuff. Yeah. He's suspended for the rest of the regular season. Um, I don't know if Michigan will make – Tournament. I yes, don't know. Yes, they're that. projected to make the tournament. Really? Yeah. Yep. Actually, yes. We're on wow. the side. We're on the side to to play the winner of Michigan and Memphis. We beat them, or at least we were, and then we would move in to play. I didn't think Michigan like, was going to make it. Or oh. oh, we got to get out of there. <laughs> I know. I said they were my dark horse. I didn't know all this. Man. Well, that's, that's as of right now, though. Yeah, we still have two more games, so a lot can change and brackets Why do you can take one of them games. Man, Would uh, that help? That wouldn't help, nah. though. Mm -mm. Nah. Do you win out? Hope for the best? Yeah, I'd win out. You get a, You could potentially get maybe a higher... You could go from like a four to a three, maybe. 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 A lot of stuff has to go right. But right now, you're pretty much around that four or five. Mm-hmm. Ugh, that sucks. That's a tough one. Right it now, is. Wisconsin is up on Purdue, uh, which Purdue kind of came out of nowhere. Why are we on that side, Clay? Why are they doing that? I don't know. I'm trying to find the bracketology section of the ESPN app so I can you want me so, to do it? so we can like talk about it. Yeah, let me let me um, let me see what's up with that though. I yeah. don't like that though. You gonna put us put us up against Duke? Not saying we can't do it now, my fellow hoes. You feel me? But I'm just like, you know, yeah, Duke, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing with Duke. Mm hmm. You know, ex I mean, and, well, and it's Coach K's swan song, too. Yes. So oh, my gosh. My and we didn't even talk about that. His yes, last game at Cameron, the tickets are averaging $5,000 a piece. Ooh. To get into Cameron, to watch Coach K's last game in Cameron mm. is averaging 5K Five a bands. seat. A seat. To even get in and stand inside, it's like $2,500. I ain't going to lie. If I had the chance to go watch Coach K play and I had the money and I had five bands to spend. Now, if I had five bands in my savings account and that's all I got, I ain't going to watch. I'm no, watching at home. Yeah. yeah. But if I had like 255 bands, yeah. How much the VR ticket is going for? I'm just going to get one of them. I'm going to buy that whole bundle. The, the Oculus. Lock in. <laughs> Meta. Lock Meta. in on them. Nah, that's going to be tough, bro. That's going to be tough because if we play them, knowing what I know, like, we not beating them. No. Is, they finna cheat like them. Man. It's Burp. gonna be, on man, them. Man. Foul on oh, them. We ain't getting no charges. I can't find the bracket. I'm trying to find I, it. I hope too. you don't. Hopefully they just <laughs> deleted that. I don't want to go into that one, bro. <laughs> I ain't ready for that. No, I agree. I, I, But, I mean, we could definitely – we could hold our own, I think. No, I think I we'll be fine. It's I just – I know how that is. Yeah, I know how it is. Top seed is Duke. That year we could have beat North Carolina. They was on that. We should have beat North Carolina. What? You see how they was acting? We really did beat North what? Carolina, we though. Did. <laughs> we really cheated did. bad. Bad. Bad.
bad. Bad. Really bad. So let's look here. Right now, 68 team bracket, we are. Uh, we're not there. We are. While bad. Clay's doing that, the Timberwolves beat Golden State tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ant Man. And Cat. And Man. Cat. Cat Man. Cat didn't play? Oh, oh. no Ant. Ooh. Oh. Mm, chilling. Big chain. No ant, huh? Okay. I almost said something. Oh, yeah. I should, I should. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so right now they have us on the east in the Philadelphia bracket. One seed is Kansas. Mm, that's great. Um, two seed is Auburn. Really? Three seed, switched in. three seed of Villanova. Four seed Illinois. I don't want to run into them either. Five seeds Arkansas. Five. Oh! Five and twelve, five and twelve would play. Winner moves on to play the four and thirteen. Four is Illinois, so we would run into Illinois if we won those games. Yeah. Six seed Ohio State, seven seed Michigan State, um, eight seed Seton Hall, nine Wyoming, ten Miami, uh, and then the rest are kind of irrelevant. Wake Forest, uh, Colgate, to- Taos. Don't Tosin, say they're irrelevant. Northern Iowa. Mm. North Texas is who we would so play who, in who, Cleveland State. Who would we North have Texas first? has Tyler Perry. It's true. We, we played them He's actually going crazy. He has been going crazy. TP what, we, over there going we crazy. We knew he was cold. Cold. I knew too, but his step back kind of <laughs> crazy. Is it like window greens or, or better? No, it's about it's about the same. Which he's been kind of tricking off for Auburn. I A little lie. bit. He's been that, that last play against Florida and the last play against us too. Yeah, I, I mean, know. A like, little bit. You got the 6'10 over there. Go on and let him have that. Yeah, let Walker. Let him have yeah, it. Yeah, you got Jabari, the number one me, projected yeah. draft pick. Yeah, let Give Jabari. him the ball. Number one? Yes, and right Apollo. now, right now he is number one. Chet three or four at least for me. Uh, Chet top. Chet might go fifth. Let me see. Yeah. If I'm mm, going Paulo, I might go Paulo. I don't know. They saying Paulo right now is the most NBA ready, just based off plug and play. They saying six ten, he gonna be on the perimeter. He still got to work and walk his yeah, way down. He's gotta, still got to put it together, like guard, like skills for real. But he could be a six ten JT though. That's what they don't see yet. But it just depends on the team. Mm-hmm. That's tough. He gonna be a sixteen. JT. Know. We got a lot to come back and talk about what? though on the live section. Either way, you straight with one and two this year. Yeah. Either way. Mm-hmm. Either way. Yep. Right now they have Jabari Smith going one. Okay. Wow. Okay. Chet going three. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, Paulo going five. Huh? <gasps> yep. I wish what, what had you had a mic for that, too. What, what, uh, what, what website you on? That's on ESPN. Ooh. Oh, ESPN don't know nothing on draft ESPN? picks. But, again, that all changes. Like, that's a, that's a mock. They going one. I like it. Uh, two. It's probably some people overseas, I bet. Uh, two is Jaden Ivey. Oh, that's uh, from Purdue. From mm. Purdue. I think that's the dude Art be talking about. And then A.J. Griffin is four from Duke. That's wild. Mm. Mm. Well, well, we got a lot to talk about. Next, yeah, next pod. I so. don't want to see Illinois though, cause they got Cockburn. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I'm be real with y'all. Be real. <laughs> I know. Hey, it's a joke until he start going. Until <laughs> he start burning. <laughs> All right, rap, rap, rap. On the court, how you how you defend that? Rap. How you, how you defend that? That's what I'm the saying. Burn, you gotta go to you gotta go to Walgreens again. <laughs> no, that's what I'm but hear me out. That's what I'm saying. That's a dominant big. Okay, okay. Off <laughs> topic. It's just getting worse. Back on topic. <laughs> we can't see Illinois. We gotta burn. Hey, we gotta do something. Hey, hogs, fellow hogs. Get right for real. Yeah. Man. We gotta. We, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a tough one, bro. Oh man. God, the um, Cockburn, NBC, NBC Sports. Hey, what you going to do? You can't guard Cockburn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, promise you I promise you can't guard you. God, he ain't got nothing for God. <laughs> what we going to do, Clay? Okay. All, All right. right. Go ahead, Lane. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, or we do what we did okay. with. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> we just got to let him let let go crazy. Let it. Let him burn us. Yeah. Yeah. Let him burn us. Yep. Let them go crazy. We can go to Walgreens and get the ointment after. Yeah, we'll be okay. Yeah, Let them go crazy. Right. And then we just kind of mm-hmm, mm-hmm. do what we Just do. letting y'all Man, know your mothers I, are going to watch this. Hey, I'm so. telling oh. still clear too. Hey, dude. <laughs> hey, no, nah, watch out because dude really be hooping. He really do be serving though. I ain't trying to be funny. <laughs> and he built like that freaking door frame. Man, what? 
He need to Watch go do it. You going lift. crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, Watch cannot. out for Buddy. We Man, can't guard, I, dude. I can't I wait to double. watch that again. Man. Oh, my god. They gosh. might lose, though. Mm. But they didn't play very well in the they tournament. Didn't. I thought we were going to play them. They haven't been playing very well, like, lately. Oh, so. man. But they, they are. I, I, that was a team I was really – I forgot who I was talking to. This is so ironic because I was either playing 2K or something. I was like, dang, if it's one team – because they have that dominant, like, physical big, it's going to yeah. wear us down, bro. You were telling me. Yeah. We just said it on the pod, too. You don't want to play a dominant big. Yep. And I, I mentioned Illinois um, either, yeah, to, like, Arden Bees or something. But I was like, damn, I don't want to play them, bro. Not because of the guards. Like, it's fine. But them you bigs don't be wanna, wearing us You down. don't want to play them because of the cock burn, huh? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, steer clear, man. Steer clear. Oh he my, going crazy. Oh, my God. He going crazy, for real. He going to be – well, he going to get drafted? He got to go. I don't know. He got to pick him up just based off size alone. Yeah, intangibles. So, yeah. If, he, if he was playing in, if he was playing college ball like 25, 30 years ago, he'd be number one. That's true. That's true. Oh, no, man. man, I ain't got nothing else for y'all after that. No, nah, that's crazy. <laughs> rap, rap. That was that's crazy. funny. Woo. So, well, with that being said, we got a lot to talk about on the college front. Draft picks, projections, tournament time, conference tournament starting pretty soon, player of the year awards to give out. Um not necessarily us, but you know, walk on specific. Um, yeah, man. So yeah, oh. that's what's up. Bro. Moral of the story is watch out for the cockburn for sure. And we're back potting on the regular. Yeah, so you can count on us this time for sure. If you guys want to stay the most up to date with us, uh, you can follow us on Instagram, but su- subscribe here and make sure to check the community tab. Uh, turn turn your post notifications on for everything. Uh, we will be posting there soon. Word. Or, you know, every time we go live, or not live, but every time we record, kind of like we were doing. But, yeah. So, with that being said, if you want to win some cool grades, drop your size down in the comment. Drop your shoe size. Um, Once we hit 5K subscribers, uh, we will be doing this giveaway here. Um, I say this every time, but I need to do a better job promoting. No, you're good. We're 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 totally fine. We we just got to get back to schedule, which we are consistent. Things are starting to slow down. Summertime, Word. summer vibes. Uh, it's going to be great leading into the end of college. Yeah. And the NBA season. Um, if you guys have any thoughts, any comments, please leave them below because we like to kind of go through them and discuss and we'll bring them on to the next show, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. We'll the put them show. on the next show. We'll we're going to try to get super fancy where we can just flash them up during the show. You know what I mean? We'll we'll get there soon enough. Get there. Sooner or later. But with that being said, I have nothing left. Laney. Yep. Nothing. Nope. Jason is home. GG's G. Thank y'all. We love y'all. And until next time, we out. Never fold. Never fold.